is election time. What are you observing? What are your thoughts? Have you composed a new song for the elections? What are you doing? Uh, so, unfortunately or fortunately, I was away from uh, Nagaland for almost two, three months. I, I was for some project. I just came back to Nagaland four days back. But uh, I'm still, I mean, I'm keeping in track what is happening in Nagaland. And uh, there's so many good things happening at the same time. Really sad things are happening. And regarding the songs, yes, uh, some political party approached me to do some music. So I did for some, you know, uh, political party also. But as, as an artist, not just, you know, a uh, supporter for any political party. Yeah. As a leading, leading citizen, as a leading citizen of Nagaland, what is the trend that you are observing? Are you happy with the things going around? Are you happy with, the, with what the political leaders are saying? Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, this uh, new development that I see this election, that's like uh, we are getting to see new breeds of politician. You know, uh, lately we, we see only those, uh, you know, the stereotype politicians before. But now we're getting to see very uh, intellectual people coming in the pipeline. Uh, young people are coming, even 26 year old coming, contesting, you know. We see uh, social activities, activists turned into politicians. We see uh, people from NGO. So it's so good to see different walks of life coming in this uh, election, new breed of politician, that's what I would say, candidates. And also we, we get to see women, uh, you know, candidates. Yes. Uh, uh, who are getting tickets from major parties like NDPP, BJP. So it's, it's a fresh news for all of us. And uh, yes, uh, that's the, the, that's the be best part about this election. Uh, 2018, that means the last elections, the entire Nagaland was swept with this slogan, no solution, no election. But this time around, there is no such slogan. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what, can you tell me what, uh, what are yeah. the main issues in which this... Nagaland elections are fought in 2023. That is the present election. W on what issues are this election fought? Uh, most, almost what I see is every party is fighting for development. Every politician, every candidate is like talking about pol uh, development, which we really need. No doubt uh, we see some changes in the last, uh, you know, 10 years, but then we, we, we are lacking far away from other states. So uh, development is one we are seeing. And then uh, we see political parties uh, claiming that they are fighting for peace. And uh, on, the, on the flip side, yes, uh, Nagaland is very peaceful comparing to those days. And um, yeah, solution is, uh, I don't see solution now. Maybe they, uh, they can't fool the public <laughs> because they've been always using this uh, pointer, yes. you know. Always, I see. I think two, three elections. There always been solution, solution. But I feel the public are very well versed with that, so they can't fool the public anymore. So now it's about development. Uh, what do you think? Are people taking this solution, this solution promise? Are people taking this solution promise seriously at all? I don't know about others, but personally, for me, to be honest, like. Uh, Solution was never the first demand initially, you know. We started with the sovereignty and then we're now compromising to the solution, solution. And uh, for me personally, we're fed up with this and uh, we, we, we just want some peaceful agreement coming after this election as the government is promising. We hope to see changes, we hope to see even the central government's sticking to the word and standing with all, I mean, the promises that they made and it's just not a manifesto, but we hope that we can see change for real, you know, after this election. You've traveled the world, you have traveled the entire country, you have collaborated projects with some of the leading composers in the country and outside. You have seen the whole country and you have, you have been to several parts of the world. My question is, 75 years after India's independence and, you know, 1963 when Nagaland became a state, governments have come and governments have gone. 
But you know, the development is absolutely not there. Look at the condition of the roads in Nagaland. Look at the higher education facilities in Nagaland. Look at our youngsters from Nagaland who have to go for a basic higher education to the, to the to uh, places like Delhi, Bombay, Pune, Chandigarh, and all these places. Now, now. Now, we, we are not talking about political parties, but everybody, the political class, seems to have failed collectively, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I, I, I just want to appeal to the public today. Let's not look at the political party also. Let's look at the you know, capable leaders, you know. Uh, we need, that's why I said, from, we need a fresh breed of politician. We need a new faces, you know. To be honest, with due respect to all the other politicians, all politicians, they did well, they did what they could. But we need people with new vision, we need people, young people, young politicians with new dreams, with new vision to take Nagaland towards that state. With due respect, as I said, all the all politicians, they've tried their best, they did it, but, you know, we the 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 generation is changing, and I can say I, I can say that they're old school, and we need new ideas. We need new vision, new world. Somebody with like you know new worldview, and I think uh, they should retire. That's what I want to say. Yeah. So Elobo Naga, Naga, one of Nagaland's leading singers and composers, compo composers, wants the old class of politicians to retire and make way for the younger lot. Uh, but but do you think uh, they they are going to give up so easily? I mean, this power is addictive. I'm sure. So I don't think they would love to give up easily. But then they should be balanced. No doubt, there should be experienced one and the young one. But I I, I believe that you know. Uh, it's high time the older folk, they give the blessing to the younger ones and then right. a pathway for new Nagaland or new generation. So do you, you think, know? what is your appeal to the youth? Do you think the youth hold the key to change in Nagaland? Do you think the young people in Nagaland hold the key to change in the state? Yes, why not? We are the majority voters. You know, the young people are... The majority. When you talk about the, uh, when you talk at the electoral roll. Now, I w before we go to that, I want to tell people that there's we we're seeing violence happening. You know, a pre-poll clashes happening. I, I want to tell appeal to young people, and it's all coming from the young people. Uh, last election in two, two, 2018, there was a clash between two parties, two candidates. Uh, one guy lost his life, and now in this election, these two candidates our allies, their friends now, they compromised. But that family lost a son, that family lost a future. Now, even yesterday, unfortunately, there was one boy, one guy who, who was killed. Yes. Now a family lost a future just for making somebody king. Now I want to tell the young people, these politicians, this can, these people will come and go, but we are going to remain. The family is going to be there, the brotherhood is going to be there. And... Yes, go and cast your vote. Go and vote for the right person. But you don't need to go and kill somebody. You don't need to indulge yourself in violence. You know, it makes no sense. And lastly, I want to appeal to young people. I, we talk about change. We talk about, you know, we need development. But every time the election comes, you fall down in front of money, booze, you know. If you, the moment you keep falling, we will not see change. And we're so happy that there are so many good candidates who, who are standing for clean election this time. And it's high time we come together, the young people, and then right. educate our parents if they're doing wrong also, you know. Yes. Because whatever we're doing today is for our future, for our children. Absolutely. So all the young Finally. people, please make sure you let your conscience, you know, yeah, let your conscience do the... Do the let work your and conscience. let's come yep. together and, you know, let's just vote you. Yeah. Do you. Do you like to make a musical appeal before I let you go? Do you like to hum a few lines, not of your political songs, but your general song? Would you like to <laughs> sing two lines? Just like, stop the violence, just go and vote. Your vote makes your future. Yeah, thank you.